With the recent flight, I know a lot of us have been having a lot of fun with the new Halo 3 map and customization as well, but a big part of this flight is not in there, and it is the custom game browser. Well, in this development update from 343, it goes into exactly when to expect that to come into the flighting process, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, want to see more content like this as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure to tap subscribe on the channel guys to keep yourself up to date. Let's get right into the content here. As we do every Friday, we get a nice little development update about the MCC. Just kind of like a little bit of an update just saying, hey, this is what's going on right now. And this is what's coming right around the corner. Obviously, we had the big drop of the flight happening, which has been great. I did a live stream on my channel, guys. Link in the description down below if you want to check it out. We do stream every Tuesday and Thursday. We did like a ton of custom games with the chat, playing a bunch of times on Waterfall and Edge, just pretty much all on repeat because those maps were just so much fun to play around with. And getting to experience the new customization armor pieces as well. Though I know the thing you guys are really looking forward to is the custom game browser. I actually did a poll on this on my channel and that was the number one thing you guys were looking forward to when it comes to this flight. But when the flight came around, we actually don't have the custom game browser right now. So in this development update, they give us a little bit of a time frame of what to expect and how it's going to be implemented into the game. It's not going to be as fully fledged out as you might expect it to be. So in this blog update, they first talk about saying, hey, the flight is live, which is is. And also I read on Twitter that post and said that most people, if if not everyone who signed up in the insider program should be getting an invite so check your halo waypoint messages it took me a while to get mine but i finally did get it also if you have the flight build already on your pc just update it and you'll be able to play not exactly sure how to do it with xbox because i haven't been on an xbox flight since 2018 but your halo waypoint message should give you some instructions exactly how to update your game so you get a chance to play and there is crossplay involved with this as well next we're talking about the custom game browser they mentioned like obviously like it's not part of the flight but it did say the long awaited custom game browser is coming in a future update in our current flight so long as the next week or so goes smoothly during this i'm pretty much assuming that probably like either a wednesday or a thursday update of this flight will finally get the custom game browser in probably give you another week of playing around with it and then probably close the flight out after that and in this update they bring up a few specific details about this custom game browser that sound great but also might disappoint a few of you as well they didn't hear saying with the custom game browser we took the time to listen to much feedback as we could over the years of what players really wanted and brought in as much of that core functionality as we could this means allowing for games to be played on dedicated servers and allowing players to effectively create your own playlist these are referred to in game as variants which allow you to create custom selection of game modes and maps built with custom rotations and repeatable options well this really kind of sounds like you can almost create your own playlist as you would like and people can jump in and play as much of that playlist that you pretty much created as much as you want and it's all going to be on dedicated servers so the connection is going to be nice and crisp for us to get a chance to play that's actually kind of one of the things i was really worried about with this custom game browser that they would just be a peer-to-peer -peer connection and then whoever's creating this playlist or lobby would people would connect to them and you, as you know throughout the united states and i'm sure other places in the world who are doing this uh people's internet it can be a little inconsistent in the section specifically saying maps built with custom rotations and repeatable options that just sounds so cool like i could totally see myself like hey i can't find enough people to play hardcore halo reach so i'm gonna make my own playlist and people will search up and join up with me and we'd be playing all night it'd be amazing now this next section might be a little bit of a disappointment, but I think to properly build out the custom game browser, this probably is the best approach to go about doing it. They didn't hear saying, we are very excited to roll it out in the flight first for Halo Reach and build on it and expand it to more games over time. It's a very robust tool and over time will come online for all titles in MCC as we have to tinker with and customize it to play nice with all the other various game engines and file types each Halo uses. Now that might sound like a bit of a bummer in news to you guys, but you know, it does, it is a bit of a bummer, yes, but you know, they did mention this previously with the first idea of bringing in the custom game browser that they did mention that they wanted to start out with like a singular game and then roll the feature out to other games as moving forward. So 
Sounds like we're probably, with Season 6, probably just launching with Halo Reach. Though maybe with this flight, it'll give them more data and information to figure out how to roll this out to other games. Because I know a lot of people are going to want Halo Reach. I'm sure more people are probably going to want Halo 3 as an option as well. So to start out the custom game browser on Halo Reach, it's honestly, that's a solid game to start on. Because I think really Halo 3 and Reach were the two games where custom games were really prominent within the Halo community at the time. But I would be shocked if Halo 3 isn't the next game on deck when it comes to getting the custom game browser feature added to it. This is a feature I've been looking forward to forever, really. Ever since Halo 2 Online, I've been wishing there was a way to search for custom games within Halo, and now it's finally happening in 2021. Talking about classic Halo 2 custom games, there is one important feature that that game had that, well, MCC currently doesn't have right now. You guys remember the game mode Zombies? That started back in Halo 2 Customs as a, a bit of a fun game to play. You had to use the honor system, one team red, one team green, right? But if you died, you had to switch to the other team. Well, right now in the MCC, you actually can't switch teams. But that is all looking to change coming Season 6. With custom game team changing, it looks like this feature is going to be functional across all the games in the MCC by the time Season 6 rolls out. They even mentioned specifically in this development update about the reference of Halo 2 Zombies, where really in the MCC you can't play Halo 2 Zombies. Badly, but looks like with season six comes around, you'll finally get a chance to do your true classic zombies. The first like really big custom game mode in Halo. And it also sounds like we will begin some extra news on why team changing within the MCC is so difficult. On Twitter, recently Dana Jerpback, if I pronounce that correctly, the technical designer at Halo for MCC, said this on Twitter, tweeting at Postums saying, maybe in the future we'd want to cover why in-game team changing in MCC is significantly more complicated in the legacy games and what additional team changing controls we've added that weren't in the legacy games at all in the blog. And right here we have a screenshot of what it looks like to change teams in the MCC right now. Nothing too fancy right there, but at least it's in the game right now. Sure they have some bugs they need to iron out that's why the flighting happens within the mcc because as a user on my end right here as a gamer that yeah it does seem rather odd that we're not able to change teams in the mcc which is a, some, a feature that we've had in halo but back since halo 2 maybe even halo c custom games back in the day i mean i can't remember that far back with those little details but it just as a user it seems odd that we can't do that so it would really help to have some kind of explanation on why we are not able to change our teams within the game and i really hope you're able to change your teams within custom games when it comes to halo infinite's custom game experience as well so if you guys missed any content from me recently check out the videos on the screen right here I got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop of halo for the last few days or so and it's been pretty busy so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out